Hello, my name is Jacques. Welcome to the Canadian War Museum. I'd like to show you some of the highlights of the gallery in the museum. Here we have the Memorial Hall. It was designed to capture the light on November 11. The light is funneled through this window and it shines on the headstone of the unknown soldiers precisely at 11 o'clock. Here we have the map of the museum. We have four permanent galleries that goes from the colonial time in number one to the more recent conflicts in number four. Here in gallery one, we start with the arrival of the first European, the French, who meet up with uh, the First Nation. Then there's this encounter with the British, who also wants to take control of North America. This all, you know, culminates on the Plains of Abraham, uh, where the British won a 20-minute battle that changed the shape of Canada. Here we have a very famous uh, British tunic that uh, once belonged to Isaac Brock. Isaac Brock was a British general who fought this American invasion in 1812. This hole in his uniform, it's a hole that was made by a musket ball, but his troops and the First Nation who supported them won this battle against the Americans. So here in gallery number two, uh, we start with uh, the South African War, which was the first time that uh, Canadian soldiers were sent overseas. One of the main highlights of Gary 2 are the, the trenches. Some uh, trenches have been reproduced here in the museum. Trench warfare was central to uh, the type of warfare we have in World War I. And as you move along, you know, you'll get into the Battle of Vimy Ridge, which was a very famous battle that basically put Canada on the map. This gallery is gallery number three, and it's all related to the Second World War. Over here, uh, we have one of the most infamous car in uh, the Nazi history. It's the car that once belonged to Adolf Hitler. So here we have the first flight simulator ever made in Canada. This is what they use for their training. This is the home front section of the museum of Gary Tree. And here we have a, a reproduction of a store during World War II. So now we get into the Cold War gallery, gallery four. Uh, in this gallery, we start with uh, the first conflict that uh, erupted during uh, the Cold War, the Korean War. And then we move on to the nuclear threat. We complete the gallery with uh, the conflict in Afghanistan. If this looks familiar to you, you might be right, because this is a maquette of the actual memorial that we have here in downtown Ottawa. Uh, this is a, a, a monument that was uh, erected after the First World War to commemorate our Canadian soldiers who fought the First World War. So here we are in the Regeneration Hall and we're standing uh, in a section of the railing that's made out of glass. There's a reason for this, because the architect wanted the visitor to realize that when you look out the window, you see the Peace Tower. So over here, we have 12 original maquettes that were designed by a Canadian sculptor by the name of Walter Alward. They all carved into the Vimy Memorial in France. So here we are in La Breton Gary. This is where we have our military vehicles collection. It goes from uh, the small carrier to the big tank and uh, passing by the howitzer and other uh, piece of equipment. Here at the Canadian War Museum, we have one of the largest war art collection. And we have a very good example here of a painting that depicts the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Thanks for joining us for this quick tour at the Canadian War Museum. I hope to see you here soon.